In a previous video, I was talking about this coil that I made, and this coil is a, basically it's a copy of this coil, but it's been shrunk down. So it's got the same inductance, it's got the, uh, all the properties should be the same, only the coil is smaller. And the point was I was trying to make a very portable crystal radio. Uh, I said that it doesn't work, and yeah, how badly does it work? And I didn't say that in the last video, and I guess I should have demonstrated how badly it does not work. When I hooked this one up, I got, I, I mean, just barely a whisper. It would not even show up on the oscilloscope. So to demonstrate how poor that is, I, uh, I just took a, this is a uh, coil that I use for a coupling experiment. It has not been tuned. It is not, the parameters are not for a crystal radio at all. Uh, in fact, you can see where I patched it together. So over here, this is a 0.9 millimeter wire, and then there's another patch right in here, and then over here is some 0.8 millimeter wire, and then over here is some Litz wire. And you can see that we're receiving a local station, and I can tune in and out, and I can get a couple stations with this. So there's another station right there. So even with a uh, a coil that was not made to be a crystal radio at all. It outperforms this. Like I said, this will not even show up on the, uh, on the oscilloscope. The uh, signal is so poor. So this, using this as our standard, this gets four to five stations. Uh, this will get easily get two stations out of just a, a junk coil. And this, uh, I can't even get a thing on the oscilloscope. So that's how poor it was. Uh, you might see some other things back here that I've been experimenting with. I'm still trying to do a miniature version of a crystal radio, and these outperform this. This was not made to be a crystal radio. These are way off in spec uh, compared to what this should be. However, this is not working. Now, what I also should be doing is I should be talking about what went wrong with this. In seventh grade science, uh, I should have known something like only to change one parameter at a time. And when I built this, I changed four parameters. I changed the, the diameter of the core. I changed the length of the core. I changed the winding style and I changed the diameter of the wire itself. So uh, yeah, Mr. Jordan would be uh, unhappy with me. I would, uh, I have failed the, the uh, basic thing of science because you only vary one parameter at a time and I went for four and it failed and frankly I don't know which one of the factors caused it to fail. So I think I should do an experiment and find out which of the parameters is causing this. So I think I'm going to wind up some coils. I'm going to use this size of tube. I'm going to use a thin wire on this size of tube. Uh, and of course, I'll run the calculations for the correct size of wire on this, but I'm going to keep the uh, diameter of the pipe the same uh, and make that a constant across. And then I'm going to try to vary only one parameter at a time. And I will see if my assumption that the, uh, the wire, I'm sorry, that the core diameter was the main problem here. So yeah, uh, one way to find out, we run and do proper experimentation. Okay, that was it. I uh, hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY crystal radio experimentation.